Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Moltrop here, coming at you with a game from the CSL Plus, and um, this is going to be a great matchup. This is from the recommended replays list, and so uh, from the first week of the CSL Plus, the newest season of the CSL, and uh, it should be an exciting game. Now I'll try and get the colors here. This is a game between um, Rice and A and M. So it looks like we're going to have Pilgrim representing A uh, and M. And uh, that means that, what is his name again? Menace is going to be representing Rice. So we got uh, Menace is the purple Protoss here in kind of the top right area. And, sorry, Pilgrim is going to be the red Protoss over here in the sort of left side area. Now, I don't know anything about these guys. Uh, I haven't really been able to, uh, to watch many CSL games lately. Um, so I'm sorry I don't know anything about these guys' playing styles or even the teams. But um, we're just getting the season going here, and um, I haven't been able to do a lot of uh, the CSL replays, so hopefully I'll be able to do some more in the future here. Also, I mean, these guys are just um, players on their college teams, and so, you know, they're not necessarily big names that are going to be well-known that you're going to be able to check up on and, and get used to their style and that sort of thing from a lot of replays around. And that's one of the cool things about um, the CSL in the first place, though, is that for the most part, it's just, you know... Um, average Joes, I guess, if you want to use that term, um, playing against each other in the name of their colleges here. So, um, should be a fun matchup, though. This is, as I said, um, from the recommended replays. They have a board that goes through and looks at the replays and decides which games are the most exciting for VODs, and uh, so I'm going to be doing a VOD from this game here. So it looks as if Menace is going to be going for a pretty standard one-gate tech build thus far. Um, same thing going on over here for Pilgrim. Sorry, I'm trying to remember these guys' names. Should be fun. By the way, I said CSL Plus. Uh, for those of you that hadn't heard, there's been a little bit of a change in management in the CSL. Xeris is now on board, one of the great um, tournament organizers of the entire foreign StarCraft scene. Um, and just completely mirrored builds here, both starting off with the Zealot, getting their gas going very, very quickly. Xeris is on board helping out to organize the CSL. And so it is indeed a, uh, a an additional level of CSL, CSL Plus going on here. Um, I know it is this this game is actually from the first week, and uh, at the time of this recording, it's actually already into I believe the um, the third or fourth week of the CSL. So it's coming out a little bit late, but um, hopefully be uh, entertaining. Hopefully I'll be able to do some more of these games uh, here pretty soon. Anyway, so um, again, pretty standard stuff here. We got Pilgrim has made a single zealot. And he's sending out both both players sending zealots out actually into the middle of the field. They're probably going to meet here in the middle. And strangers passing each other in the night. Not even going to stop to engage uh, to to trade side blades or what do they have again? They think they, they use uh, side blades. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not even stopping to exchange side blades there. Um, it looks like we're going to see uh, menace making an additional zealot, whereas pilgrim is. Nope, he's making that second zealot too, so never mind. Exactly the same builds here so far for both players going to a second gateway. Uh oh, wow. He's second zealot coming out just in time to try and deal with this. He's ganging up his probes on the zealot. He's going to try and kill off that zealot, not let it do much too much damage. Uh, I didn't see how many kills it got there, but it was, uh, and it looks like the same exact thing going on over here. So completely a mirror both, except we don't see a second gateway here for Pilgrim. He may be trying to kill off um, these scouting probe and zealot. Zealot almost dead. The probe has a couple couple hits left on it. Um, if that Zealot, I think if it takes one more, no, two, still two hits left on that Zealot as well. Um, uh, but anyway, up, oh, up, oh, got a, some probe battling, some Zealot battling going on uh, so far here. If he can get a, ze a probe kill with the Zealot before it dies, he'll be in good shape. And he does get at least one probe kill. If he can get a second one, that'll be epic. No, no second probe kill. Um, now, uh, let's see what's going on. He has cleared things back up here. So we're going for basically two gate range goons over here. Let's see if he puts down a robo now that those scouting uh, units are gone. Um, it's hard to tell. Let's see. Oh. No, he's just going to go over here and block his ramp. I guess he's just now gotten that probe out of his base. But no, another zealot running into his base while he's doing that. Um, it's going to cause more distraction. He's using a lot of probes. He's losing a lot of mining time by running his probes around, trying to micro his probes. To, uh, to make sure that that zealot doesn't get any kills. But he is doing a good job of making sure that. Look at that, drawing those probes off of his gas and running them all the way around so they don't get killed off by the zealot. So nicely done uh, by Menace there. Excellent work. Uh, meanwhile, Menace has 
kept everything out of his base um, and kept the fight inside Pilgrim's base. And now it looks like Pilgrim is going to be um, uh, Pilgrim, the red player, is going to be uh, under some pressure here from these units coming out of uh, of Menace's base here. Let's see. I just sit here like five times in a few seconds. It, I think he got his range up earlier. Let's see. He may have a bit of an advantage there. No, I guess uh, Menace is going to have his range up just slightly, slightly earlier. Now, I think that's why he's moving in these Dragoons is to try and get an advantage. But now he's going to lose his Dragoons if he's not careful. Um, that Dragoon has, has lost his shields. It's in danger of losing its health. He's going to get range just a moment earlier, but it's not going to be enough to give him a major, major advantage um, in, a, in a battle or anything like that. He's going to have to retreat back to his ramp. He may even lose this Dragoon. Uh, oh, wow, little... Uh, dent in the terrain, uh, slowing those Dragoons up. He's going to be able to get back to his ramp. I think he still is probably going to lose this Dragoon. It's just got a, three hits left on it uh, from, those, from those Dragoons. The Zealot falls back. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but the Zealot falls back and takes a few hits instead. And so now he's going to be able to fight from the top of his ramp here, and uh, he's going to be in a lot better shape. Um, looks like range is finished there um, for, for Menace. Uh, but it's probably, if it's not finished, it's going to finish in just a moment for, for a Pilgrim anyway. So, yeah, both of them finished their range at almost exactly the same time. Um, got the Robo down, a shuttle coming out here, and let's see what Techie, Techie goes for next. He's going to go straight for Reavers. So, Menace is going to go straight for Reavers here, um, and he's got the top of his ramp secured now, so he's not going to lose any of those Dragoons. It was very, very close. He almost lost the Dragoon. But, um, looks like Pilgrim is going to continue putting the pressure on. He's going to try and move up to this ramp, and uh, he's got... Basically only one extra goon, but the, the high ground is going to be more than enough to make up for that. And it looks like uh, Pilgrim was a little bit, uh, I'm sorry, Menace was a little bit worried that he was going to try and break that ramp and brought probes off the line to deal with that as well. Observers are going to be coming out first here for Pilgrim. Um, I don't see a robotic support bay anywhere for him. So he's going to be a little bit behind in that tech route, and that's going to give a bit of an advantage to Menace here. He's going to have his Reavers out a lot sooner. Excuse me, he's going to have his Reavers out a lot sooner. And uh, if he chooses to engage while he has that Reaver out, then he'll be in a lot better shape. Um, they both have, for some reason, he went for a shuttle first over here. And then the Observers. Well, I guess that makes sense. Then he cannot waste time while the Observatory is moving. And he's managed to get a probe over here um, in that shuttle in order to, uh, well, just generally. Oh, is he going to, this one's probably going to run in there for a scout. He may also, it's probably going to make, there he goes, make it an expansion over here on the left side of the map. Now, while well, we've got a little bit of a lull, um, I want to show you guys something which I was recently, I'm sure it was not uh, too, it wasn't like secret information or anything like that, um, but it was something that hasn't really been really common knowledge until just recently, that you can actually go in replays and type commands into them um, and show like re replay, show resources. And it'll show all the players' resources in the top left of the screen. So I've been wanting to do a, a replay commentary since I saw that. Because um, <laughs> it's kind of a cool feature. Uh, something that's going to be in StarCraft 2 much better. Um, it's going to be much better integrated in StarCraft 2. But it's something that's going to be cool nonetheless. Now, this is really a good idea uh, that we see um, uh, Pilgrim using here. He's protecting his ramp with Dragoons. It's going to be really hard to push across that, even with Reavers. And he's using that to expand... Now he's going to be, it's a good idea.